Hey church, my name is Ryan Woods, and I'm super excited to open up the Word of God with you this week. As you guys are read through your Bible, and we've finished up 1 Samuel and dove straight into 2 Samuel and 1 Chronicles. I want to highlight two of the devotionals this week. One of Saul's fear on the 18th, and then one of Uzziah's death on the 22nd. When we read in 1 Samuel chapter 28, verses 1 through 25, we read that Saul, overcome with fear because of what was happening in his kingdom, felt that God would not answer his prayers. So he turned to a medium, thinking that he could learn what to do from them. We also read 2 Samuel 6, 5 through 8 this week, where Uzziah died after touching the Ark of the Covenant. See, his intentions were good, but he, he wanted to stabilize the Ark because the oxen pulling it had stumbled. However, despite the rationalization that Uzziah had, he disobeyed God's command not to touch the ark and died because of it. See, why do I mention these tragic stories this week? Well, the truth is that we all act like these two men sometimes. We let the situations that we are in dictate the trust that we have for God. We act like Saul, letting our fears leading us to disobedience, or we act like Uzziah, letting our mind rationalize the disobedience in the moment until... It gets too far. I like the acronym from the 18th of the devotional this week. It's fear, false evidence appearing real. I like it because the threats of this world really do seem real at times. They scare us and cause us to feel weak. David felt this way too. He fled from Saul for many years. And while he was fleeing, he wrote Psalm 56. Let's read that together, verses 1 through 4. Oh God, have mercy on me. For people are hounding me. My foes attack me all day long. I am consistently hounded by those who slander me. But, and many are boldly attacking me. But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in God. I praise God for what he has promised. I trust in God. So why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? That's such a great example of the faith David displayed even when times he feared. And he, when he was running from Saul, he had this faith. We can, when we run, we should be running to God in the times when we have fear. We can let scripture remind us of the rejuvenating spirit of God that empowers us as we worship him through our obedience. I hope that encouraged you today as much as it encouraged me. I have a few questions for you in your group that relates to this week's reading. One, have any of you felt as Saul did, fearful of what is to come or the situ situations that you are in now? What situations bring out the sphere? Number two, who or what do you find yourself turning to for comfort and guidance when fear starts to creep in? How can we seek God in those times? Number three, we can rationalize pretty much anything if given enough time. How can we remind ourselves of the truth of God's word to combat these decisions that may feel right in the moment? Number four, do desperate times ever call for sinful, desperate measures? Why or why not? And lastly, number five, where have you seen Christ the most in your reading this week? Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the example of, of both Saul and Uzziah, of people who, who when the going got tough, they decided not to trust you. Or when they found an opportunity to rationalize a disobedience, they they chose to rationalize it, Lord. Lord, let these be examples of what not to do and encourage us, Lord, to, to seek after you when we fear or when we're given opportunities to disobey you. As we run to you and let the spirit of your word just rejuvenate us, I pray, that, Lord, that this group would be able to, to just overcome those moments of fear or moments of temptation or moments of rationalization, Lord. Lord, I just pray over this group today as they're going through their conversations. I pray that they would have just uplifting conversation that, that speaks to the heart of each individual and uplifts you in the process, Lord. Pray this all in your son Jesus' name. Amen.